Welcome to another groups.com web uh, broadcast, uh, letting you know how to do different things to work with your iPhones and all that. G-R-U-U-P-S dot com is our website. Uh, we have different solutions for T-Mobile, AT&T, etc. and all that. Today we're going to do talk about something that I haven't seen on Lock talked about, how to unlock your G1 T-Mobile Android phone. Uh, there are some talk about some different people, of course, selling a sort of software or a code to do it online, things like that. Two hours later, you get the code, blah, blah, blah. People don't really realize that uh, they do have a T-Mobile phone, and there is another way to do it. Of course, our T1 mo mobile phone, a G G1 or um, G phone, whatever you want to call it, is here. It's ready. It's, of course, on uh, T-Mobile. Um, we can, of course, confirm that by simply making a phone call. Uh, let's go ahead and phone call it and uh, 611 it. We'll do menu uh, and we'll have a speakerphone. We're going to hear in just a couple of seconds the uh, ringtone of uh, T Mobile and, of course, there's 611. All right, enough about that call. You guys can all understand that my phone has T Mobile on it, of course. Let's go ahead and unlock this device. Now, what it is to do to unlock it is very, very simple, actually. It's the same 611 we just called. And you ask for the unlock code. Folks, this is it. No need to pay 20 bucks. No need to uh, change it and things like that. No need to go ahead and uh, pay anybody, hack it, crack it, have smoke coming out of it. Call them, and within 24 hours, they email you back. Here's the unlock code, Mr. Uh, Mr. Go ahead and, and uh, you know, go ahead and unlock it. Go nuts and all that. You've been with us for a couple of months. That's enough. We trust you and all that. Now, I'm not going to tell you that that's going to stop you from being charged the $25 of outrageous internet cost, but T-Mobile has emailed me. I emailed them last night at 9 o'clock uh, before I made this video. When uh, this afternoon came around, I'm sorry, this, well, uh, when I was about to go at lunch, there was an email from them saying that uh, there was there was uh, uh, an email and with the unlock code I covered the information but you can understand that the unlock code is there now what we're doing is uh, to showcase why would you put an AT&T card on this silly little device absolutely no reason whatsoever but it is going to show you that we can do that and all that I'm not going to ever switch my T-Mobile service for AT&T I'm not stupid, but there is a reason why I would do it, and one of the reasons, for example, is I'm going to Canada, and they do have a device there that, or a SIM chip that I have that I would like to use it. What we do, of course, we use our trusty AT&T device. We've already showed you how to use, how to tether your AT&T device without paying the two-year contract, without doing anything. In fact, I'm paying about 20 bucks a month to tether my device, my laptop with it. Of course, after buying this on eBay, you'll find everything about that on groups.com. You guys already know that. Okay. So let's go ahead and take out the SIM chip from the AT&T device. There's our AT&T SIM chip device. Let's go ahead and, of course, do the same thing with the G1. We flip it open. We, of course, try to uh, see if we can shut it down here and shut it nicely. Most people just remove the battery. I'm sure it'll be fine, but we can also shut it down nicely and all that. Go ahead and do so. So you've discovered the trick. You feel a little bit annoyed. Why did you pay 18 bucks? Or what were you going to pay 18 bucks when T-Mobile was so nice to do that for you and all that? Well, you'll discover why just right now. We take out our T-Mobile SIM chip. Nothing fancy about that. Grab our AT&T SIM chip over there, place it in as you normally would any SIM chip, of course, and put the battery back it is. You would normally put the plastic case to it. I'm not going to do that, just for uh, the time savings, as you can tell, because of the fact that it takes me a while to put the battery back in. Bear with me here. Try not to remove the phone from here. Ah! It's because I don't know how to do it. As you can see, it's the first time to doing it on the G phone. All right, I'll put the SIM chip correctly and you'll be much happier than you were before. All right, battery's in. AT&T evil chip is in there. And we're gonna go ahead and turn it back on. All right, there's two things that we talked about. Um, I wrote an article about this on groups.com. We have it over there. How to activate your phone and how to do so if you don't have a T-Mobile chip or T-Mobile G1 $25 a month internet on it. So 
Go to groups.com, you'll see an article about that under the Android section about it. But don't worry too much about it. Most of you already have a T-Mobile chip. You just want to do it like I do and move it to another, not move it to another provider, pardon me, but use a different provider, hopefully in another country. Know that you can use another provider. Why would you leave these guys with the most minutes? But uh, that's up to you, not up to me. All right, we're still showing you how to do a different thing. Still going to take a little while, so I'll continue. Oh, here we go. SIP unlock code. Oh, well, what we do after we see this is we, of course, look at our email and uh, go ahead and uh, in there will be the unlock code. I, silly of me, I erased it. I do wrote it down here and all that, so don't worry too much about it. Open up the flip keyboard and type in the code you're going to see. All right, I have, you're going to see the code that I have. This is code for my phone. You'll notice from other videos of the code is there that is not everybody's code. You will get a unique code for your phone and all that. After typing in the code, let's go ahead and click on unlock. It says, let's see that we can see that clearly. I missed it, but it said network unlock successful. All right. Now, don't be surprised at this moment. You see no service. That didn't mean it didn't work out or that all of a sudden AT&T Stop me from using this because now you guys know that you can use your tethered modem on your laptop. But no, no, no. Give it a couple of seconds. AT&T. Now, of course, we need to prove this to you guys. The doubting the, uh, belief there and all that. Of course, my things are still working. 611. Let's go ahead and call it. Press menu. And speaker. Let's see if we hear that lovely ring. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's try that one more time here and all that. It's going to show me that it's not working now all of a sudden. Looks like we have good bars. Cause in progress. I guess I got a little bit too hexy. Just to remind you, you have $54. <laughs> let's just say I have some minutes, even though I've been surfing like crazy. There you go. Your at t phone is online. Now let's see one more thing. We have a little bit of surprise for you and the other watchers. What I've done is actually changed the edge chip. Now, I do not see the edge part in there. Now, we have set up the APN and the settings and all that. So we might leave this one for another video and all that. But let's just say I was going to hope uh, surprise you guys. Maybe I'll do this in another video with a little E there, which means that an unbelievably fantastic, cool phone on an unbelievably fast, this is pretty fast, AT&T network works on edge. Of course, this is not an AT&T phone, so it's not going to do a 3G, but that's the case. You will have an AT&T phone. I'm sorry. You will have any phone of this chip that you've provided. If you're in Canada, you'll have a Fido Rogers phone. If you're in South America, Mobile Stars, great over there. Whatever it is you case. Guys, that's it. Remember, the trick is be nice to your customer service people at T-Mobile. Thank you, and remember, groups.com. Spelled G R U U P S. Well, your device for your place for lots of little tricks, uh, whether AT&T and T-Mobile and all these people like it or not. Have fun. See you next time.